YouTube what's going on this is Puck today I want to have a serious conversation about Windows 8 eh? because if you buy Windows 8 then you will see on the box that the specifications for Windows 8 are a 1 gigahertz processor or faster and uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM or 2 gigabytes of RAM well I've been uh, checking this out and I agree Windows 8 uh, runs on all the systems at least if the processor is supported um, in the consumer uh, preview you could uh, install still on a Celeron M processor or maybe even an AMD processor or uh, a Pentium M processor the version that came after that did not allow that anymore behind me here I have a machine it's a Sony it's a, a pretty good machine and I installed Windows 8 the consumer preview on it and uh, the thing has 512 megabyte RAM so that is very very low the processor is uh, 1.2 gigahertz and I want to show you how this thing runs Windows 8 but before I'm gonna show it to you I will have to tell you some things the install went fine but when it had to rebuild the home screen then it was really really working hard to get the metro screen done it was it took at least 15 minutes to finish the install at least the the end part when you logged in with your password create a password and then you know it would like go build the home screen the first startup of the windows that took like a very long time and then i also discovered why it took a long time so what i did is i deinstalled most of the metro things that were there because I don't think they make any sense to tell you the truth because I'm an experienced uh, a computer user and when I buy a computer when I got my computers until now I got them on without all these things asking my attention using my bandwidth and being in my computer without me wanting it being there very nice of Microsoft that they put it in for the newcomers especially the people that were using a phone and that never had a computer before for these people it's wonderful it's also wonderful that Microsoft wants to you know help these people by selling their own stuff to these people you understand but for us experienced users it makes no sense and for the computer with only 1200 megahertz it makes no sense as well because it's really hard to build up that metro thing they made okay so I had to make some changes and what did I do at the same time I did many things to make the system much lighter and I must say that Windows 8 yes you can do that with Windows 8 as you can see this is the fish starting up this is the consumer preview right Yeah. This is not the developer's preview. This is the. Let me see where the CD is if I can find it. We're looking at the real time boot, people. And this is all happening on the Sony FX701, PCG701. With, you see, this is Windows 8 customer preview. And I yes I modified I modified some things. Can you see it? Customer preview, Windows 8 customer preview, and um, of course with thanks to Microsoft we downloaded this. You see how the screen goes up really slow. You see that? But it's not that it's not working. Eh? I'm gonna log in. I managed to let this thing play music. I managed to. Uh, 
let it uh, read the news and browse uh, eBay and and do all sorts of things. It's logging into the metro screen now. And you will see that my metro screen is a little different than the way it comes. Oops. So, and this is my metro screen. As you can see, my metro screen is white. I made it white. I wanted it this way. This was my way of um, setting it up. I removed all the programs here, as you can see, all the uh, metro apps. I just removed them. And by right mouse clicking, it's still starting up as a matter of fact. Because I can't get into, uh, but we'll go to the home screen. As you can see, it's loading Fee Start. And Fee Start is uh, from Mr. Lee. Full with spyware, but you must be careful when you install it. You can also deselect the spyware. These Chinese programs always have, have all this spyware. Huh? Mr. Lee, you should stop that spyware thing, you know. It's really nice of you putting a toolbar. As you can see, you can uh, change the toolbar in um, in an Apple Apple logo you see that I can right mouse click and then I can say uh, renew and then look now I will get the windows you see that but uh, this is Windows 8 as you can see here at the side if you hold it a little bit long you will get the screen here um, I made the icons a little bigger and I set them up the way I used to set up Windows 7 um, bef way back and thanks to the start menu we have all the programs back as the way the way we wanted it and uh, for the for the speed what did I do I go to personalize you see and I choose my own my own setup I use high contrast uh, white you see that I put in uh, another color and the the windows color I change that a little bit you can change that by going into changes you see I made it a little bit orange I guess it my own my own things no need to zoom in so much but as you can see it's different it's lighter what I also did I went to my computer to the properties hope you can see it and if not I'm sorry then up here I went to advanced settings there advanced settings you see that advanced system settings we go there, yeah, and up here we go to um, visual, uh, visual. We go to advanced, and then you take the first one: visual effects processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. That is the first one, yeah. Can you see that? This one. Go to the settings and up here you select adjust for best performance. You see that? And that will give you a not so beautiful screen the way you get it from, from Uncle Stevie. But you know, this will make the machine 10 times faster. Especially if you have a slow machine, a 1200 megahertz that should run Windows XP. You understand? Okay. So now I'm going to show you the internet because this thing has Wi-Fi. Yes, yes. It has Wi-Fi. Let me first show you the specifications before I do all sorts of things. I'm first going to show you the system. And this what I'm doing here. This was taking for ages. Eh? If I didn't make these changes into Windows, this would take for ages. You know, just opening okay let me read for you I hope you can read it a little bit 
512 megabyte RAM. The process is AMD Athlon. It's the AMD Athlon 512 megabyte usable uh, AMD Athlon XP 1400 plus 1.2 gigahertz. You see that? This is just a 1.2 gigahertz machine. And don't think that if you don't make these changes that the system will run just the way you see it's running now. Because now it's running like really nice, you know? Well, you shouldn't put no virus scanner on it. Then Windows Defender that's already on it, you know? Because if you're gonna put a virus scanner, the thing's gonna slow up. It will get all slow and, and all stupid. But um, this is the way uh, Google looks now. Because of the looks I gifted. You will see that also in Google, you will not get the fancy... Uh, uh, bottoms you will just get everything straight up you know just the way uh, yeah an old browser would show it so this is uh, making your browser lighter by also going and setting your theme you see that you can still read the news but the bottoms on the top they're all different and this is a Firefox if we would start up Explorer but we cannot because I removed Explorer yes I was I was really not so nice but um, Explorer pissed me off the minute I started up Explorer it wanted me to do all sorts of settings I just said uh, we'll do that later you know and I just uh, removed Explorer I didn't like the start page you know loading all these things you know um, I think Microsoft, you guys should not link um, the start page to your Microsoft site anymore. Just link it to the search page of Bing. You know, that's a better way to keep people not to change uh, the start page to Google. Because what people want is if they start up their browser, they just want a simple boom where they can search and where they can go to news and where they can do this they don't want to get the news and the things you guys want to show the people they don't want to see that you know you can set up the browser for the people to go to that site and you can set everything in the browser to do exactly what you guys wanted to do but as soon as the people get smart they will be really disappointed in you as a company Microsoft because they will see that in fact only thing you're doing is trying to get information of the people you're following the people you're setting the settings so the people can only use your stuff that while the people are not interested in that they love Microsoft Windows but they don't have to love the Microsoft site and all that propaganda you guys are selling up there I mean the commercials and, and stuff Come on, let's be honest, this whole Metro thing that you guys put in is just to make money because all these programs are programs out of your app store and all these people have a contract with Microsoft, you know? And it's running on all computers that come out and I don't know why the people, you know, should keep all these Metro apps on their, on their thing. For what? I mean, not even on the tablet you want this thing. It's just using bandwidth all the time, it's just... Sorry that to say that Microsoft, you know I love you guys, but I think this is spyware, man. This is just like cheap spyware, like them Android phones, you know, having all these pre-installed apps, such as the Samsung phones, you know, and the Samsung apps that you cannot turn off while they're running on your Android phone. You know, you can go to Task Killer and you can kill it, but it's popping up all the time again out of nothing. You know, you guys should not do things like that. That is tricking the people you know I mean like the way I just set the system now it's running Firefox not even Google Chrome because Google Chrome is also getting attitudes in a way normally I could set up my Google Chrome page nicely to the start page of Google you know now it's bringing me to some page where people have to log in where I have four icons I don't know I don't know what's wrong with you guys why you all, um, you know, being so, so, um, how you call it, so ignorant 
because of your browser you know you guys are like you know your browser is is like the most important thing it's not your browser ain't nothing you know firefox will laugh and be the third winner you know that while bing is struggling with stupid search search foundings you know um google is like giving great foundings but they have to keep to all sorts of stupid rules that they cannot show this, they cannot show that, they have to block this, they have to block that. So, all I can say is, the Sony running 1200 megahertz is already turned off. You know, it can run Windows 8, but you will be better off running Windows XP on a machine like this for speed improvement but still you can run Windows 8 and you can browse the net but you will not be able to install no firewall scanner you know so you will have to trust Microsoft with the Defender thing because if you will install Bitdefender the machine will slow up so much that you will need to date up the RAM but we can put one gigabyte of RAM in here so we can double up this RAM but still it's got no, it won't be it won't be daddy's fastest but it will run it will will surely run so not only bad about Windows 8 no bad at all about Windows 8 only thing I can say about Windows 8 is it looks nice um, it's still Windows 7 structure that's a good thing because Windows 7 is one of the best operating systems Microsoft ever made but uh, also I must say that Windows 8 the improvements that the improvements that it made for the touch tablet touch touch screen users is really nice you know no bad words about that but um, the Explorer I think it's still very buggy the one in the metro screen and at least to me it was on my other machine too because soon we will go to the living room and in my next video I will show you my Windows 8 multimedia center that I built from a real old PC a Pentium 4 with 3000 uh, 3, uh, megahertz and 1.8 uh, gigabyte RAM and that system also works really nice outstanding and what I want to do is install some of my programs onto Windows 8 to see if I can edit a movie if I can record my music if I can play my flight simulator my you know my GTA 5 City uh, San Andreas uh, GTA 4 all these things I want to know so we're gonna test that out today for now I must say nice very beautiful this sony i'm just gonna keep it until this windows expired you know and it will play me music it, it it works fine you know you should try it out yourself but you really need to make it lighter and do these little uh, adjustments that i showed you if you do that also with windows xp and windows 7 you can do the same things your machine then will be at least five times faster thank you for watching and these are my foundings on Windows 8. And I say, besides the Metro screen, Windows 8 is great.